My name is Sam Wagner. I am the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited. With the advent of Web2 and user-generated content, the Internet has completed its transformation into an anarchic and lawless ochlocracy, more broad. The Internet is a mass medium, and like all media, it must be regulated. The laws that apply offline must, and in due time, will apply online especially once legislators are exposed to the less savory aspects of the web. Inevitably, the legal situation varies across countries and continents. Internet penetration has reached different levels of, at different times and different places. Thus, the following observations and recommendations are not universally valid or applicable. In some locales, various aspects of cyberspace have been tackled by governments and legislatures, albeit rarely fully and satisfactorily. In others, the field is wide open, and the Internet resembles the Wild West at its worst moments. Laws and regulations passed and intermittently enforced against cybercrime attempt to prevent and constrain only a few obviously illegal acts. Spammers, spyware purveyors, child pornographers, and terrorists are the blatant tip of a much subtler iceberg of malicious and pernicious misconduct. These are the minimal initial steps that have to be taken in order to forestall a meltdown of this indispensable utility, the Internet. Number one, slander, libel and defamation versus free speech. The legal status of owners, editors, administrators, webmasters and moderators of websites, bulletin boards, forums, boards, groups, lists, wikis and user-generated content websites, online news sources, search engines and portals, blogging communities, all these, their legal status should be equated to that of publishers and journalists in the print and electronic media. Consequently, all of them should be held liable to civil damages and to criminal charges arising from actionable libel and defamation posted on their properties if they don't act promptly to comprehensively remedy said libel and defamation. Internet service providers, ISPs, and hosting services should be obligated to disclose to law enforcement agencies and, and or to plaintiffs the full personal data of anyone who break the law by publishing or sending libelous, slanderous, defamatory, harassing, or threatening content on or via the Internet. Second issue is privacy. The right to privacy of computer reusers should be embedded in consumer protection laws, allowing for criminal penalties to be imposed on the, perpet on the perpetrators of privacy breaches and for civil damages to the victims. Individuals and firms who accumulate personal data of suppliers, employees, customers and users, or who gain access to them in the normal course of business, should be obliged to protect and safeguard such information and to promptly notify those potentially affected of any incident involving the compromise of their personal data. Failure to act reasonably diligently to prevent identity theft should become a criminal offense. Exceptions should, exceptions should be made only for law enforcement needs, and even then only pursuant to warrants issued by especially designated courts, such as the FISA mandated courts in the United States. The third issue has to do with copyright and intellectual property. Intellectual property laws should be considerably relaxed and fair use provisions considerably expanded to accommodate and reflect the nature, possibilities and constraints of digital renditions of information and intellectual property. Owners, editors, administrators, webmasters and moderators of websites, bulletin boards, forums, boards, groups, lists, wikis, UGC websites, online news sources, search engines and portals, blogging communities, all these should be held liable to civil damages and to criminal charges arising from infringements of copyrights and other intellectual property rights posted on or via their properties if they don't act promptly to comprehensively remedy said infringements. Internet service providers and hosting services should be obligated to disclose to law enforcement agencies and to plaintiffs the full personal data of anyone who break the law by violating copyrights and other intellectual property rights on or via the Internet. The next issue is anonymity. Anonymous or pseudonymous publishing of libelous, slanderous, defamatory, harassing or threatening content on the Internet, including via email, instant messaging, mashups or wikis, should explicitly and specifically 
be made illegal. Owners, editors, administrators, webmasters and moderators, website bulletin boards, forums, boards, groups, lists, wikis, UGC websites, online news sources, search engines and portals and blogging communities, all these should be made responsible to obtain the full names and countries of domicile of registered users, posters, contributors and participants. Upon the first request of an injured party or a law enforcement agency, these owners, editors, administrators and webmasters and moderators should be obligated to make these personal data public in conjunction with libelous, slanderous, defamatory, harassing or threatening content published. Providing false personal data to owners, editors, administrators and moderators of bulletin boards, forums, boards, groups, lists, wikis, UGC websites, online news sources and blogging communities, providing, providing such false data should be made a criminal offence, as well as give rise to civil damages. Providing false personal data or remaining anonymous while sending or posting libelous, slanderous, defamatory, harassing or threatening correspondence, for instance via email, should be made a criminal offence, as well as give rise to civil damages. Internet service providers and hosting services should be obligated to disclose to law enforcement agencies and or to plaintiffs the full personal data of anyone who breaks the law by anonymously or pseudonymously publishing or sending slanderous, libelous, defamatory, harassing or threatening content on or via the Internet. Then we have licensing and antitrust. All licensing requirements, content laws and regula regulatory supervision that now apply to the print and electronic media should apply to websites, to bulletin boards, to forums, to boards, to groups, lists, wikis, UGC websites, search engines and portals, online news sources and blogging communities. Internet should be subjected to supervision and regulation by the relevant government oversight agencies. Example in the United States, FCC, FTC, SEC and others. Competition, antitrust laws and regulations shall be extended to apply to the Internet or where they are already applicable should be enforced to ensure search neutrality, equal access to information, equal access to computing platforms, fair competition. Truth and advertising and misrepresentations are also a burning issue. The owners, editors, administrators, webmasters and moderators of websites, bulletin boards, forums, boards, groups, lists, wikis, UGC websites, online news sources, search engines and portals and blogging communities should have to truthfully describe the nature of their internet properties and all other pertinent inf information items that may be required by a reasonable user, including their ownership structure, privacy policies, sources of information, affiliations, potential and actual conflicts of interest, outstanding lawsuits, risks associated with making use of their internet properties and other pertinent disclosures. Misrepresentations should be explicitly and specifically outlawed and carry both criminal penalties and civil liabilities. It is not too late to restore a semblance of lawfulness to the Internet. True, the web has been hijacked by stalkers, criminals, big business and scammers. Even honest users are clueless as to what is and is not allowed. As far as the overwhelming majority of surfers are concerned, voluntary codes of conduct and the much vaunted netiquette have utterly failed to render cyberspace safe or indeed serviceable. The invisible hand of the market is indeed nowhere to be seen. It is time for legislators and regulators to step in. Even a moderate dose of legislation, the willingness not to succumb to, to either mob or business pressures, will go a long way towards restoring the Internet to its original purpose, the civilized and lawful, not to mention pleasurable, exchange of information and opinion, over computer networks.